Another pretty day in Atlanta, Georgia. And welcome inside Turner Field, the home of the Braves since 1997. Last night did not go so well for the Rockies. They fell 9-5, to five, but they look to bounce back tonight with Ubaldo Jimenez on the hill. The Rockies even up at 5-5. Five and five. The Braves are 6-4. and four. Dexter Fowler will be in the two-hole, the Georgia native. Todd Helt next, Troy Tulowitzki a couple of hits last night. Brad Hopp had a double. Miguel Olivo will be doing the catching. On the hill for Atlanta is Kenshin Kawakami. Boy, that is scalded to center field. McLeod can't get it. Boy, the layoffs really hurt Carlos Gonzalez, George. Well, Just smart, too, the way he ran the bases that time. He knew he had an even double. Why try to move it into a triple? Drive it into left center field. McLeod, all he could do is give a chase. And Dexter Fowler, who was one for five last night, he chops it up the middle. That'll get the runner over. Prado is going to get Fowler at first. Ball four. Boy, Todd saw that out of his hand. I mean, he never flinched as the breaking ball was way inside. When you do that toe tap, see there, now all the weight's on that back foot the entire time. This is in the air to fairly deep left. Should be uh, plenty deep enough. Well, now he comes in and catch the baseball, Melky Cabrera, but the Rockies get a run out of it. Carlos Gonzalez scores 1 0. And that is a single to left. I got to get a lot of looks at a fastball, and if you do, it's typically in off the plate. He got a fastball there, and he hits it in the air to McClough. Yeah, that ball ran in and got just enough of the hands to prevent it being driven very far. He'll be followed in the Bobby Cox lineup by Martin Prado leading Major League Baseball in average. Chipper Jones hit a home run last night. Brian McCann is off to a terrific start. Troy Gloss, Yunel Escobar, Jason Hayward, who had a couple of hits yesterday, Melky Cabrera, and then Kawakami. Adding report on Ubaldo. Well, we've all seen it. 92 99. We'll touch 100. It over 30 times a year ago. 76 to 82 on the hook. He got a pretty good changeup working along with that hard slider. Mentioned his struggles here at Turner Field. And, and Drew, I think you remember his dad had flown in from the Dominican Republic to see his very first start here at Turner Field. And, and this ball's well struck to right center field. Dexter Fowler puts out his glove and he's going to run it down. That was aided by the win. I mean, it would take a cannon right now to hit the ball out. Well, they're not going to steal a lot of bases. Their whole deal, for as long as you can remember about the Atlanta with Braves, it was all about pitching. A good, strong bullpen. And they won a lot of games 4 to 3, 3 to 2. A four pitch walk to Prado. That brings Olivo to the mound. On the ground to help. There's one. Jimenez gets to the bag. Double play. 3 6 1. And the athletic ability of Ubaldo Jimenez helped out there. And it's basically because Jim Tracy has forced them in to going deeper into ball games. Looking for the breaking ball, got a heater dead center, didn't react, and he'll strike out in his first at bat. Breaking ball. He came inside, and Barmas is going to make him pay. Down the left field line of the corner, and the Rockies have their second double of the ball game. Clint Barmas with his fourth two bagger of the year. Handling the bat better, see what he can do. Ground ball to Prado. And that's the second out. That'll bring up Carlos Gonzalez. Cargo falls into that category with a runner in scoring position. Got the base open. He gave him something to hit, and it scalded to deep center field. McLeod is going to track it down. And the only thing that kept that in the ballpark is that tornado that George is talking about. 1 0 Rockies. And a pop fly. This could be entertaining and with all this win it's going to knock down a lot of either get to the spot where you think it's going to be and make a play easy for Tula Whiskey. These are go to Colorado Rockies .com and order one of those mini plans right now. Which ordinarily he has great command. This is slowly hit the third one play. Well, maybe not. I didn't think they'd be able to get the force but Gloss not the fastest guy in the arena. Here's Jason Hayward and the runner going throw by Olivo is not in time. So a stolen base for Yunel Escobar his second of the year. One two and gone on a hook. Jimenez is hanging around that's that's three outs. They only get three. 
He wanted more. Not necessary. Save it for next inning. There's so many ways. That's hard on the ground at gloss. That they can watch their son play now. And Helton drives it to center field. McLeod going back and near the track he's going to make the catch. Todd hit that one well. This ball's hit to left field and deep. Cabrera going back and he will hey, have a play. That, that's three. Yep. That is three that have just been smoked to the track. And this kid is a whopper when it comes to talent. Unfortunately, he's now walked his third hitter. Chance for two. There's one and safe at first. Kawakami got up the line pretty well. And swung on and missed. 97 mile an hour fastball and McLeod is dismissed from class. Ball four and that is the fourth walk and now two runners on for Chipper Jones. 1 and 0 on Jones. And snap throw. They have a chance at Kawakami. And that is a cardinal sin. Chipper Jones at the plate. You're the pitcher. And Miguel Olivo just picked you off. This is a good friend to come down here as the general manager and he'd get back in uni. This ball toward the gap, and it is cut off by the left fielder Cabrera. Another hit for Brad Hop. And yeah, another hit George the other way. 0 2 on Olivo and he strikes out one out with hop at first hop takes off and it's served to the left side for a base hit you have hop at first to a couple of days ago I had to miss some time with a with a with tightness in his quad but he was moving and it paid off well what did pay off but where where this is I mean this is a pitch that bat, that bat got him right in the middle of the back coming out of there. Splintered right in half and it caught him right in the back. Watch here, folks. Off the end of the bat and he turns his back around and it catches him. Kind of grabs the his back a little bit and the ball's moving into the outfield. No trainers checked him out. And this is popped up. Well, you know, Clint disappointed. I saw him roll his neck and head because he read that pitch all the way in. He just worked all the way up underneath of it instead of driving it. Base hit up the middle. Brad Hopp around third gets a green light. Here's the throw by McLeod up the line on through. To second base goes Jimenez helping his own cause. Two to nothing Colorado. Didn't try to do too much with it at all. Fastball right in the middle of the plate at 89 miles an hour. Just stung it right up the middle. Thought McLeod took a lot of time to wind up to throw the ball. Stewart at third. Jimenez at second. Baldo with an RBI single. And this is line to the gap in left center field. They're going to pay for player er, for pitching to him. And two more come around. Another double for Carlos Gonzalez. It is 4-0 Colorado. The 81st offered by the young right-hander. It's fastball away. Same pitch he drove into the gap in left center field before. Elevated a little bit more. And it you know, when you do something like that, you make those mistakes, you're going to pay for them. He's believing in his ability. And I think the playoffs, playoffs set that haul up. Rockies get three in the inning, highlighted by a two out, two run double from that man. Four nothing, Rockies. I mean, that's what you try to do is to get everything back and then you lose it. Part of it is, too, and I say this all the time, people think I'm nuts. I say this to managers and everybody else. You get a guy that has a big moment where he ran the bases and he got a base hit and he comes back in. I guarantee you, you look and see how many times he gives up a hit or walks a guy to the first batter. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it. And then you end up getting behind 3-0 and you got, you got traffic and you try to work your way out of it. Yeah, the, the problem is, is he just balked. Yeah. This is where Miguel or Bob Apodaca, somebody needs to come out and visit with him. Just calm him down a little bit. Get him refocused. Jim Tracy's trying to get his attention out of the dugout right now, meaning home plate umpire Jeff Kellogg. Let's watch, see what happened here. He's on the rubber. All right. Looks in. Up, oh, see right there. He brought his head up. See, he started to come up. On the ground, a second. Actually, it'd be cut off by Help. Chipper goes to third, one out.
on the ground. Cut off by Stewart. Gathers himself. That's all for the Braves in the fourth. Helton walks. Todd Helton by himself seen at least 25 pitches from Kawakami tonight. And Troy hits it high into the Georgia sky. And Prado makes the catch one out. No, they started a little earlier than this game did. This ball, another base hit for Brad Hopp. Helton will stop at second. Three for three for number 11. On the ground to third. Olivo's got to get up the line. There's one and there's two. 5-4-3 on the turn. And you're behind 3-0. and oh. Challenge him with a fastball versus a leadoff walk. Well, this is unbelievable. I mean, Ubaldo has not been touched offensively, but he's walked six. In the air to center field, Fowler. Well, you can hit it there all day long. Yeah, it's not going the way anywhere. this wind's blowing, it isn't going anywhere, because if it would have, the Rockies would be about a 7 nothing game by yeah, now. Exactly. Ball's in the air to right, and Brad hops there. Johnny Venter's in the bullpen. You know, Mike Dunn came up for it for a day, and like he that. strikes him out again. So Baldo Jimenez walks Hayward, leading off the inning. Then he gets Cabrera, Conrad, and McLeod. We'll go to the sixth, four nothing, Colorado. Not a young left-hander. He signed out of junior college. This ball is hit to left field pretty deep, and now Cabrera's got to come in. Again, that win. Tommy that John. is a fair ball. Tommy John surgery for this young left-hander in 2006. One and two. And not this time. Well, a nice debut for Johnny Venters, a 1-2-3 debut. Notice one thing about Uvalda? Strike three. Uh, that, he, that he's doing uh, when he throws it in the strike zone, they don't have a chance? What? No, he's pitching out of the stretch right now, not comfortable in the windup. Yeah. In the air to center field. An extra base hit once every 12 and a half at bat. Brian McCann. Pops it up, playable left field. Needed a short inning pitch count wise. He got it. He worked out of the stretch. That was a short inning for Ubaldo in the Atlanta Braves. That is his first one, two, three inning. How about that? And he turns that fastball over. You see that, George? Describe that. At 95. Yeah. And this ball lined to right center field, shading that way's McLeod. Two outs. And Helton bounces one through the right side. Todd's got himself his first knock of the night. Ninth hit for the Rockies. Well, anytime you get into this situation, you know, you just kind of recognize what's going on. Not a lot of conversation going on between the two uh, guys, except for Gonzalez talking to him for a little bit. Everybody else pretty quiet. Let him have his own thoughts of what is transpiring here in Atlanta. Slowly hit Jones gets the good hop low throw and a late call at first by Larry Vanover. I thought Tulowitzki beat it. But no argument from Troy. So well, I'm and that's sure one you thing, are. And that's one thing that's making it very very difficult right now in Jim Tracy. He knows what's going on in this ball game, but he's also got to look out for the welfare of his number one starter. He got nine outs to go. This ball's hit a ton. And Fowler lays out and he makes the catch. Dexter Fowler. Remember that play. Wow. Off the bat, I didn't think there was any way. Even the fans of Atlanta are clapping at this point. They ought to. It's a native son, and that's as good as it gets. Hardest ball that's been hit all night off of Ubaldo Jimenez. It has gap written all over it. Dexter laid the head, laid out the stride, and then had the reach and the dive and makes the catch in center field. 
Watch, watch this. Wow. Really? This ball, an easier chance, I believe. Boy, that wind is really playing tricks. Dexter, three out of the last four outs have ended up in his glove. This one a little more difficult as he took off flying. He's really got to turn up the afterburners to get there. See you later. That's all for the Braves in the seventh. And this inning and this ball game may be remembered for this effort by Dexter Fowler off a of gloss drive. In the ball game, and they're going to get him this time. Prado. And this is tapped back to the mound. And that ball is hit well to right. Coming on Hayward, he'll make the catch. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Don't go anywhere. Four nothing. Lexus, where luxury has an address. And this is pounded into the ground right at Todd Helton. Tricky hop. And Melky Cabrera on one pitch is retired. And he got him with a splitter. That was dirty. I mean, that was absolutely filthy. Two gone in the eighth. That's pretty hard to do. This is popped up. And Ubaldo calling Miguel Olivo's number, and he has it safely through the eighth. We will go to the ninth. Something special brewing in Atlanta. 4 nothing Rockies. This is one of those situations right now. The skipper wants him to punch out, George. Yeah. He wants him to make a left turn and relax. And he will. And he will. He'll think about the ninth. Two strike count. Chavez a hard thrower. And softly hit to left. Two outs. And Dexter clobbers one to center field. McClough will go back and make the catch. That was hit well. So fasten your seat belts. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. Four nothing, Colorado. A whole lot of nothing for the Atlanta Braves tonight, courtesy of that man. And we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Martin Prado, the leading hitter in baseball, then Chipper Jones and Brian McCann. Two, three, and four in the Braves lineup, and the first pitch is in there, strike one. 32,602 are witness to this gem. And this is a pop fly to Clint Barmas, one out in the ninth. Here's Chipper. Ball one, Jones grounded into a 3-6-1 double play to end the first. He walked leading off the fourth and was balked to second and moved to third on a fielder's choice. That's as close as the Braves have come to scoring. He had a fly ball to center field in the sixth inning. He asked for the changeup. In the air, center field. Gonzalez will glide over. There are two outs. And it'll come down to Brian McCann and Ubaldo Jimenez. And Rockies fans are standing. And Atlanta Braves fans who know this sport so well also standing in appreciation. You bet. Two outs in the ninth. Four-time All-Star Brian McCann. And that's in there, strike one. And now it is 0-2. Curveball strike one, fastball 97 miles an hour. The 0-2. 89 mile an hour slider. The dugout. He's anticipated as much as everybody in the stands. He's watching at home. Here we go. 
the 0 2. And again, it's wasted by McCann. Here's the 0 2 again, and he spiked that in the dirt about 50 feet, 1 and 2. 127 pitches in. That's the most, equals the most he has thrown in a ball game. That was in June of a year ago. He's got the sign. Here's the one two. Ground ball to second. Barmis to first. Ubaldo Jimenez has no hit. The Atlanta Braves. The first no hitter in Rockies history. The 264th no hitter in the grand history of Major League Baseball. And now Baldo Jimenez is on that exclusive list. The same high-fiving Dexter Fowler. Remember the catch in center field, the pickoff by Oliva at, third, at second base. There was plays made in this game, and that catch by Dexter, the biggest. Wow. And Georgie could not happen to a nicer young man. I mean, how, how great does this feel for the entire team, the organization, everything that they have been able to accomplish? Unbelievable. Alana Rizzo will try to capture some of the emotions of Ubaldo. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much. First of all, a tremendous congratulations to you, Ubaldo. You're the first person in Rockies history to throw a no-hitter. Just if you can possibly put this into words. Thank you, thank you. I didn't start the game good. I was wise, like throwing the ball everywhere. For thanks guy, I was able to come back and just get the guys out, you know. <laughs> and our defense was excellent today. Like, well, the guys they did everything possible to catch the ball. So, thanks guy, we got it. You know, you mentioned the defense. I want you to take me through your thought on that on that catch by Dexter Fowler. I know that you said wow, but what was going through your mind? Well, that was unbelievable. I thought that that boy's probably gonna go out, and then I saw him running everywhere. So I was like, oh, oh, he probably have a chance. And then when he dove, I was like, wow, unbelievable. Like, there's thing that had to happen. I mean, it happened today. Beginning in the sixth inning, you really started pitching out of the stretch. Just take us through that whole process and why that was so effective for you. Well, the first five innings, I wasn't able to get the first hitter out. And then after I got from the stretch, I, I started throwing strikes. So uh, Apodaca came to me and he was like, why don't you try from the stretch? Like, you're throwing a lot of strikes from there. So and he's not working from the windup, so just give it a try. You know, and obviously getting a no-hitter is an unbelievable accomplishment in itself, but those last three outs were the meat of the Braves' order. Does that make it even more special? Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, you, you, got, you, you have a guy like Chipper Jones and all those guys. It's no easy to get him out. You have to throw everything you have, especially throwing a no-hitter. I was like, uh-oh, why this guy? Like, come on, <laughs> give me a break. Nobody wanted to look at you. Nobody wanted to sit next to you. At what point were you able to, to be a little bit calmer? Did you know that this might happen? Probably after the seven inning, I was like, oh, wow, there's only two innings left. Uh, so we, we have a chance to do it. <laughs> Congratulations. What a tremendous, tremendous victory today. Enjoy this with your teammates, Ubaldo. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, back to you. Incredible. It is incredible. He's such a humble young man. And George, he described Dexter's catch. And usually, we've seen on television, the play is reviewed when a guy throws a no-hitter, and usually there's two or three or four near misses by a club offensively. There was only one. There really was, and that was the drive into left field. There weren't any balls hit hard. No. There really wasn't. That was the only ball, and Dexter Fowler was able to make a play on that ball, and obviously it was a very big play in the ball game. The pickoff at second base. Ubaldo gets a base hit and drives in a run. It's fun. Fun, fun, and I mean the excitement. I don't, you know what? It's one of those deals that you don't really realize what you've accomplished until about 30 minutes from now. It's like, wow, I just did that. I, I don't know what he's feeling, but I, I, I tell you what, I can barely talk. <laughs> Our Granger Player of the Game, guess who? Ubaldo Jimenez.
first no-hitter in Colorado Rockies history, and he threw out a base hit in an RBI offensively. Final numbers, Ubaldo strikes out seven. He did walk six. They came in the first five innings. After he walked Hayward leading off the fifth inning, nobody touched him, and Dexter Fowler made that wonderful catch off the drive by Troy Gloss. So the Rockies, who've been no hit in the past on a couple of occasions, have a no-no. Now it's only the New York Mets, believe it or not, and the San Diego Padres, two teams that have had a lot of good pitching, mm -hmm. two teams that play in pitchers' ballparks, still without a no-no, and the Rockies in their 18th year have one. And, George, you know, we talked earlier this year, and we've said it before, with Jimenez and now De La Rosa, two guys on any given day, they have a shot with their stuff. They do have a shot with their stuff. Either one of these guys could throw a no-hitter no at any time, and now you see it with Ubaldo, the, the ability to go out and master, even when he had struggled. I'm going to throw something at This is weird, but you're going to think that when Nomo, Nomo threw his no-hitter at Coors Field, Guess what inning he went started to throw the stretch out of because of his wildness. Was that the sixth inning? Sixth inning. And Ubaldo tonight goes into the sixth inning and goes into the stretch on a suggestion of Bob Apodaca, and obviously the results came up zeros. How special. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> How special was this night? We have a ton to do. The postgame report will be loaded. Ubaldo Jimenez no hits the Atlanta Braves tonight. You got to love it.